Welcome to the Comma Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, and specifically, defensive tackle production analytics. And the prospect we're going to highlight today is Maurice Hurst Jr. of Michigan, uh, a defensive tackle prospect that a lot of people have been considering to be a top five to top ten um, level talent, or at least in the top 20 range. It's kind of iffy in terms of how people really feel about him, to be honest, but definitely one of the better defensive tackles in this draft class. And I wanted to highlight him based on his production data and production analytics. Uh, so I know a lot of you guys are going to first off, if you're new to the channel, go, okay, what is production analytics? What is production data? Um, production data, essentially, or at least the data that I use at the position, is called market share data. And what you do with market share data is you take an individual defensive statistic and you divide it by the team total statistics. So, for example, if a defensive tackle has 25 solo tackles on a team that has 500 solo tackles, then that defensive tackle had 5% solo tackle market share data. But what you do with that number is you take that performance, that percentage, and you compare it to every single other defensive tackle performance since the 1989 NFL draft class, and then boom, you have a way of seeing where all the multiple all-pro players typically performed in terms of production, where all the multiple Pro Bowl players typically performed in terms of production, and of course, even where some of the long-term starters performed as well when it comes to um, overall production data. So essentially, it's production traits. It's it's very similar to film traits. You know, if, if a defensive tackle has a spin move or a hump move or some other type of move that he does on film or uh, the ability to stack and shed, it's the same as film traits. It's just that production traits have a little bit more substance to it because you're actually comparing what an actual multiple All-Pro, multiple Pro Bowl player did to what this guy did based on production and where most of the All-Pro players typically ended up and where most of the Pro Bowl players typically ended up when it came to their production data. Um, so in many ways, that's what production analytics is. It's, it's a lot like film traits. It's just it has a little bit more substance to it. It doesn't mean that you should just not use film traits or not look into film traits. It's just that realize that film traits are what they are and production traits are what they are as well, and both have value. Both have value. Don't get into this whole, well, production film traits are better than production traits because you'll lose a lot when you do that, um, especially if you're talking about a defensive tackle that barely played four games in his career but had a couple things here and there. A lot of times you're not going to win that battle in terms of them becoming a, a multiple all-pro, multiple pro Bowl player. So essentially that is what production data is, at least in terms of market share production data. And now let's get into Maurice Hurst, uh, Hurst's uh, production profile. Uh, when you look at him, he actually did very well. Uh, had a 96.60 uh, solo tackle production score, a 44.55 sack market share score, and a 83.66 tackle for loss market share production score. As you can clearly see, in terms of solo tackle data and tackle for loss data, he hits every single threshold indicative of a multiple all-pro player but doesn't hit the multiple all-pro threshold when it comes to sack market share. That's the only area where he doesn't quite seal the deal in terms of his data profile. But all this stuff is indicative of a multiple Pro Bowl player. And not only that, the player that he produced similar to in different ways, though, is uh, Darnell Dockett of uh, Florida State. When Darnell Dockett was at Florida State, very similar profile. Uh, had high-end solo tackle data, uh, high-end tackle for loss data. In fact, tackle for loss data was by far the best attribute of Dockett, uh, but had the bare minimum threshold when it came to sack mark share. Um, Hurst is a little bit better in terms of sack mark share. He's also a lot better in terms of solo tackle data. In fact, I would just say it like this. Maurice Hurst has a kind of better profile because he had better solo tackle and better tackle for loss data. But this is just to illustrate a defensive tackle with a similar type of pattern in terms of having high solo tackle, high tackle for loss, but relatively low sack market share uh, for whatever reason that was. Uh, but the bottom line is when it comes to Maurice Hurst, again, when you look at his profile, you look at his other attributes and his other data points, he looks like a multiple Pro Bowl type defensive tackle. Um, and in many ways, a multiple Pro Bowl defensive tackle is a top 10 level talent in most draft classes. Um, generational talent is a little bit off the table. Like again, Maurice Hurst is not necessarily a J.J. Watt. He's not necessarily an Adama Kinsu. He's he's or a Jerry McCoy even like he's not exactly those types of guys, 
but he's definitely in the again the Pro Bowl area of the spectrum, the Darnold Dockett area, if you will. Uh, you know, a guy that could give you uh, top five to top ten defense tackle production uh, here and there during his career, but not necessarily someone that is going to be generation generationally changing the game, if you will, in terms of his overall profile. Um, so that is his overall profile when it comes to production data. Uh, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.